What's up guys? Today we're going over the Franklin Barbecue Pit. They didn't spare any expense when building this pit by any means. The metal, the welds, the craftsmanship is just superb. Overall, 80 inches long, 80 inches tall, 42 inch removable smokestack, swivel casters on the front, stationary casters on the back. You can move it around. This thing is a beast though, 600 and 25 pounds. 5 16 main cook chamber, 3 16 thick on the smokestack, 5 16 also here in, in the collector. Schedule 40 on the, uh, on the legs, and uh, roughly 5 16 on your ellipsoidal end here. You got your nice little rack down here below. Put your splits down here, get you a nice little stack. Got your drain, little drain bucket down here on the bottom. The details that's put into this thing, even the handle, the handle even swivels. When you lift up on the lid itself, the handle rotates. All right, let's dig into this thing and, and look at some of the features on the inside. You got 19 inches front to back on the grate, 32 inches left to right. Leaves you right about 600 square inches of cooking space. Got a nice little area built in this end for your uh, water pan. The way Aaron Franklin Describes it in his video. Got your fire that, you know, in the in the firebox here, comes comes through here, got your inlet down here. Even these edges, as you can see here, are rounded for a purpose. He wants that air to flow smoothly in here. You've got kind of a, I guess kind of a dead area of air up here. It's warm air, but it's not firebox hot air. So your your heat comes through your gap here, rolls around this rounded end. It's also pulling air. Of course, this thing is not completely sealed up. You've got gaps, but it's, it's designed that way. It's designed to pull air in from all over, and it creates this vacuum in here. It pulls this air off of, off of your water pan from back here, and then starts almost like a convection type rotation in the cook chamber. Comes down and hits the ellipsoidal end. It's designed that way for a reason. If you'll notice, this end is, is, is bobbed off. It's square on this end. That's where it's gonna pull the air from. Then it's designed to tur have turbulence inside the cook chamber and come down and just hit this end and, and funnel down through this, the collector. The Aaron Franklin collector on the end is perfect. The height of your collector hits right at middle grate for that just that proper cook temperature. Of course, this is gonna be your, your sweet spot. I mean, he's put a lot of thought into this smoker. This thermometer placement is is very well thought out. He talks about how the end of the thermometer, you know, it gets its reading from about the last inch of the stem. The stem is set in the, at gr not at great height, it's set up. Your average brisket is roughly around four inches thick. So he wants this, this probe end to hit right about center of your brisket. If you had a brisket in here, the end of this probe in here is gonna be right at mid brisket level, and that's gonna be your temperature reading, you know, your great temperature. All right, let's reposition this smoker and take a look at the firebox. Very, very heavy duty built. 3 8 thickness on this door, fully braced on the inside. I mean, even, you know, a quarter inch, 5 16 metal on the latch. Got the same style hinges here on the door as what you have on the lid. It's very, very generous as far as size. You've got about 21 and a half inches uh, front to back, and you've got about 20 inches uh, diameter uh, on the firebox itself. But like I said, it is air gapped to help insulate to make this thing run more efficient. One thing I want to point out right here, if y'all will notice what makes this smoker unique, there is no dampener here inside. There is no, there's no slide dampener. There's no daisy wheel on this thing. If you also notice, there's no dampener on the smokestack. Aaron Franklin has designed this thing to where when you build your fire in here and you get that fire at the optimal size, this pit will basically run itself. All you're gonna have to do is add a split every now and again, just to keep the heat coming in. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that notifications bell while you're at it.